Today is a wonderful day for me. It is September 13th, 2010. Down there on top of the uh, the car, you can see actual car, you can see a model of Sonic Wind LSRV. And as you look below me here, as I scan from the driver's compartment, over to the nose, you can see the entire vehicle is mocked up and ready for actual construction to begin. These are all the actual components. Every piece of the car is here in the shop, just waiting to be assembled. All the main tanks, all the main welding, all the main structures have been completed. And uh, you can see as we scan along this vehicle, everything is in place, right down to the tail fins. All I need is a little bit of completion seed money, and this vehicle will be ready for rollout. Again, you can see how closely it follows the model. Now, the white stripes on the vehicle, uh, uh, the fine white lines, are actually cloth strips. And what they do is they denote the body lines. And you can see the bell-shaped shape of the fuselage and the length of this vehicle and the beauty of it. I'll scan back here. There's the methanol tanks. Your safety capsule, pressure and vessels, locks tank, rocket engine, tail pins all there. Right next to her, across the ways, is her little sister, Sonic Wind the Ice Racer. There's the original model of it on top of it. I thought it would be kind of uh, clever to see them both together with the actual scale models on top of them. And there's Sonic Wind. Well, I've been working by myself here in the shop for a little over a year, and I've had a lot of turmoil and problems, a lot of hard physical work. Everything you see here is done by me, alone. So I'm ready to start marketing this vehicle, looking for money for it to complete it, get her up on her wheels. She'll be capable of 2,000 miles an hour on the ground. Nothing being built by man any place else on the planet will be able to beat it. More later.